Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saigon and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with reduced hit points, stronger enemies, a very limited selection of classes and items and of course specific niche builds. The details of the challenge are in the doobly-doo below. Time for Operation Golden Rhyme where we're trying to be, uh, neutralize the target, <clears throat> respectively kidnap it because we want the extra intel. Uh, so it is a dark VIP mission. We're going in with our standard team. Uh, at least parts of it. Frodo, Reckoner and Woods are going to be here from the main team. I put Jeranx insane as bond mates uh, into that. Hopefully getting another sniper up. And Jeranx uh, seems to be a good soldier in this run. So, And he's a new uh, viewer. Might as well give him some air time. The Spark. AKA Sparky001, or Primus, how we will call him later, is going to uh, go in with a slightly modified weapon, uh, this time for better aim. And that is really it. It's a straightforward mission. I feel the weapon upgrade was coming just at the right time. So we can now deal with the heavier, more bulky enemies. Fantastic. So we're going to start as always without any concealment. That's a nasty dark event to think about. I get, get to appreciate just how bad it is. But luckily, it just so happens that our choose to lose uh, skill sets with a niche build always include Reaper or Phantom, rather, as the skill as the skill build for our rangers and that makes it so much easier we got to get over here i'd like to keep active. that high ground Roger that. sniper moves over I will go. spark moves over Vortz moves over and Proto also moves over. I think we're doing fine. Don't want to overdo it. We got two extra turns, thankfully. Yeah, and that's the advantage when you're not just charging in. You will eventually catch them in a transition. And now they got their pants down. Nice one. All right. Well, guess what? That almost looks too convenient, doesn't it? On the other hand, the spark will survive it. Just fall down. So, not sure if we want to do that. An officer. Stun Lancer and that spark, okay. Well, for starters. That's only a 60% chance. The spark looks okay. This would kill the officer. I think we can try that. There we go. So much for your full cover. And... Let's move over here. That should not trigger anything. Famous last words. <clears throat> that should not trigger anything.
Time for an overdrive. And we got three enemies down there. Okay, good. So starting with a shredding. Uh, there is no need to grapple over. All we need to do is hit this guy. Okay, that's good enough. We're down to like what? Off hit points. Okay, fair enough. Which now will make this an even more interesting uh, subject because that's a two for one. Gets a heavily tar uh, armor target. There we go. Implaceable to position ourselves over here. Okay, and in order to like deal with that, let me just double check what what the hacking options are. Aim increase, squad aim increase, and another pack would know about us. I think we can hack that with our uh, with our specialist. So I was hoping or realized that it is not possible that I can actually shoot uh, shoot the rocket down therefore explode the car and make them feel sorry for their lives. Now that I realize it is not possible, well, that stinks. On the move. So instead, let's take a look. Two sectored soldiers which are moderately hard, but not impossible to deal with enemies. And potentially a teamwork. Moving over here. That's one down. Let's hit that Viper. Strange. Fortunately a miss, okay. If you want them to die, I'll have to reload. I think we still go for the Viper. No, no need to use teamwork now. We can't hit it. 280% shots unfortunately missed. The Viper very much will use will use its poison spit up here. Immune, immune, not immune. Okay, so we're going to potentially take some damage. There's no chance that we're critting. But at least we can start dealing some damage. <clears throat> Alright, so much for the poison spit. Instead, the Viper is trying to bind. And we're taking some well-deserved damage. For essentially pulling two packs at the same time. Okay, we can shut that one down. Not a problem. Marking the sector would potentially be the right call here. All right, sniper takes a kill.
And this should be another easy kill. So much damage with a shotgun. Holy shit. Slightly moving over here. Can we shut that super heavy tower down? Let's try to do that. Uh, of course it doesn't work. Could have used Comet Protocol. It now got another... It now got another armor. I don't want that to happen. <clears throat> so we're taking the Sledgehammer method, which is essentially removing the entire entrance. That was the backup plan. Unfortunately, through double pulling and Heading out. unfortunate RNG, there isn't that much of a further backup plan left. We've used most of our tools. In all fairness, we've also killed three packs, so that is fine. Good. I was hoping for squad targeting, which does not materialize, so we're eventually going to be uh, visited by another pack. Gotta be careful here not to move too far. Sniper takes a better position. Let's reload wherever possible. Come get some. Do we have an auto loader here? Yes. So don't need to reload. There's potentially one more pack in here. And sad pack will potentially move on and find us. All right, front line begins to move in. Sniper moves up and a couple of our operatives might be better off on low ground. Reload, overwatch, 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 reload and overwatch. Might be also coming from here, who knows. No, they're in the middle of uh, the building. Nine turns and we still have plenty of room to cover. Well, there we are. He's got the target in custody. Menace one five. Remember, we're here to capture the I suppose this uh, this might be the last Bring pack. Well, cover removal would be awesome now, wouldn't it? Unfortunately we needed to take that already. Let's move into position and do the second best, which is marking targets. Spectre here. 
is marked. And eventually will be taken down. Super aggressive move. Very good. Very good. Okay, cool. Well, we can still take some shots here. Team working down. And let's make sure that we do have ample opportunities. Luckily that reduces the cover already. Unfortunately, we can't really get much closer uh, with the remaining operators. Yeah, and I don't want to to go in. Well, I think we're just going to fire a weapon. They might mind control us, but that's okay. A protocol will make. Uh, I'm, I'm not even sure if they can mind control. They are. These are soldiers. No, they can all apparently mind control, but not as well. Hunkering down is not the worst. I'm their target now. Good, we just gotta kill that guy. Was responsible. Heading out. And the way we're going to do it, since we can't really remove cover is we're going to mark him yet again there we go he's marked and that should hopefully kill him that should remove panic very good panic is removed and let's deal with that other clown Melee vulnerability, fantastic. And blaster to the face, very good. good to go. I think we've Rock and roll. almost covered the entire enemy pack. At best there is one more tower left over. There is no one left over, and that's fine. Understood. Moving in. This here will very much uh, lead to reinforcements. Status confirmed. Target package in custody. No one is here. Might as well move on. No need to ask twice. Cover 
Good. Potentially some somewhere here or there. Yeah. Reinforcements will arrive. Not a surprise. That always happens after you knock him unconscious. First things first. We're rushing out. Secondly, there is going to be a nice overwatch trap here. And thankfully, we can take even more high ground. I go. It's under my watch. On the move. Overwatch. Good. So let's see what they're sending. Contrary to the last time, where there had been reinforcements and where I was uh, not willing to take them on, this time I'm like, yeah, those guys will potentially. Two of them might even die in the overwatch trap here. Okay, well, that's one. And that's two. Let's peek around the corner. Surprise! Shotgun to the face. Oh, what? For once we have... For once we have not managed to kill him outright. Alright. There we go. Death from above and implacable. Everybody moves to the evac zone. And we got plenty of turns left over. So that was fun. That was a really, really fun mission. Great to see how things are coming together. Also how we're using holo targeting instead of cover removal in some of the cases. All right, very good. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Couple of small mistakes when we were pulling the first packs, and suboptimal RNG, but overall, it was a fun mission. There we go. Let's take a good look. Two promotions ready. Our sniper gets return fire. We haven't. We we have seen it a couple of times in the run so far. It's not as bad as I thought, but yeah, it's definitely not a great skill for uh, for us. But the snipers are doing. Jessica Jones is actually doing reasonably well, just with the base sniper loadout, right? And um, Sharungs here is doing really well. I think he was almost arguably the MVP of. That last mission. Hello, Commander. 100 Intel helps us to expand further. And the supplies help us to upgrade the snipers once we can upgrade them, of course. Alien Alloys, uh, that is also good. We have so many things that we can do now. Getting this, uh, the, spe uh, the scientist should be the highest priority. And then eventually going into North America. Okay, so that's the end of the month. I would say overall that month was way more decisive than the last one. Good, permanent reduction of XCOM income. And... Attempt to sabotage, okay. Risk of ambush, not that uh, much of a problem. This here would 
be nasty at the beginning but once we have overcome the chosen it would actually be a no event okay so what are we going to do we still have enough context so that is not needed we're never hidden so we can't really use that i should potentially get more resistance orders soon don't get me wrong we got good ones but yeah we could get better ones i am sure you will find the fantastic The Helix Rail Cannon would be a great up uh, upgrade. Oh, I see that uh, the Gauss weapons have been combined. That must also be uh, that must also be something that the mod was actually doing. Uh, we're certainly not going to build workshops. It's the choose to lose campaign, but you really don't need a workshop. Good, so a couple of cool things. What, What is... Well, the experimental weapons for one would be cool, so let's start with them. And I think there are a couple of others that might be interesting for us. So let's start with experimental weapons. And in terms of engineering, we can upgrade a couple of weapons. Well, the snipers definitely would make sense. And that's 20 aliens, uh, alien alloys. <clears throat> Reaper weapon would make sense. Mac cannon certainly would make sense. A lot of sensible upgrades. Which ones are we going to go with first? I think the snipers because that is so vital. If your sniper doesn't deal damage, <clears throat> then the whole point of having a sniper kind of That's goes out of the window we have left to get this ship off and we need more alien alloys which conveniently are available here so here is our next scientist we don't need more supplies but we can use quite a bit a more alien alloys how long would that take six days hmm i want to also make contact over here yeah but i think Since we're all friends now, maybe you could that's that's a better uh, choice another engineer a good ranger lieutenant that would actually be good and some more intel and we just got to deal with the loss uh that is a mission which the b team could undertake in order to give them some more experience there is potentially the hunter around but yeah I, I, even the b team can uh, take him at this point and i'm wondering if we get another 116 intel uh, if we maybe just visit the black market buy some alloys save the time here and go to north america which almost seems like the more sensible option to expand at this point i can think it through we've just started with the alloys so nothing really happened Commander, the chosen are getting closer to hunting us down and coincidentally the, the prime team is not available so we might as well take the secondary team the and why not i mean uh, they the could use some they definitely could use some experience as well up an unsecured transmission from some clown calling himself Van Dorn. Doesn't sound like the kind of recruit we're looking for. Good. Anyways, uh, that brings us to the end of today's episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment and a like down below, and I'm happy to see you in two days. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.